Scott Orland with Cinema Magazine. Okay, all you coming to America fans, part two is coming your way, and I'm here with the star, the creator, Eddie Murphy. Eddie, um, in this movie, you've evolved from a prince to a king, and I was wondering, would you make a good leader? Would you make a good king? Do you have attributes for that? Yes, I'm an Aries. Aries, Aries the Ram. That's part of, that's one of our attributes is we're supposed to be, have good leadership qualities and all that stuff, supposedly. But yes, I'm an Aries. What did you kind of know about African kingdoms? I mean, prior to this, I mean, obviously this is an entertainment film, but there's a really sweet story underneath and a very kind of um, uh, a, a, an eye-opening experience about these, like Wakanda, and now we have here, about these African kingdoms. Well, it's more of a, it's a fairy tale. It's not, it's, it's not based on like real African kingdoms and real ones. It's a, coming to America is a fairy tale. Like, like Black Panther is a Marvel movie, you know, and Wakanda and Zamunda are fictional places. You've totally just crushed me because I thought it was real. Oh, well, but it's okay. Um, <laughs> part of the trajectory of the plot is a parent trying to maneuver their offspring from childhood to adulthood. And you are a parent of 10 children. How interesting has that navigation been for you? It's been natural progression. Uh, it's a, and it's the thing that I'm most proud of that uh, my kids are so normal and well-rounded and, and grounded people and smart and, and, and talented. And I think, I'm, like I said, that's my, that's my greatest achievement is my children. And I think your daughter's in this movie, correct? Yes, my daughter Bella is playing a warrior princess in this movie. How parentally proud were you? Yeah, there are no words. You know, your kids are making you, you know, you could go to something at, at their school and see a school play and make your heart burst. So to actually be in a movie with my little baby girl and she's doing, a, did a great job in the movie and she's a good actress. And you can't get a, a bigger proud papa moment. I had them constantly throughout the movie. Well, let's talk about Proud Papa. I mean, that, you know, what's fascinating about you as an actor is that, you know, some people can hide behind a wig or maybe a costume change. You really go through a metamorphosis. And it's always been kind of with throughout your career of being able to hide behind these various characters. Of the various ones that you do, which is the easiest one for you to get lost in? I get lost in any of them. Uh, I never thought of it as, as hiding behind the character. It's more for me, it's like making a, it's making a character really, really come to life. If you have like a, a really good, like Rick Baker, I got spoiled on him. Uh, these makeups that he made, that he created, uh, he, they turn you into a different person. So if I'm doing a character, you know, and I look in the mirror, I'm gone. Eddie's gone completely. So it can make you go deeper into finding this other character, finding their voice and get, makes you go all the way, all the way, everything to, you go all in when you put that makeup on. That's why I love doing it. I, I love your character too, because he finds solace hanging out in the back of the uh, fast food restaurant, kind of where he got a chance to kind of explore himself. So if we were going to give Eddie Murphy an opportunity which fast food restaurant would you want to hang out in? You know, I worked at McDonald's when I was a kid. <laughs> I did not I was know. 16 for one summer, I worked at McDonald's. Hardest job I ever had in my life. Because? Well, after that, I got Saturday Night Live. But, but, <laughs> but before the, my, my one real job in the real world, I worked in a shoe store once and I worked at McDonald's and McDonald's was the hardest job ever. McDonald's is, uh, when I worked there, it was, they, it was, they, was they, the, you have to always be working. It was like, if there are no customers, start, start cleaning up. If everything's clean, start polishing. So, and so you have to work the register, you have to work the grill, you have to clean the bathroom, you have to mop the floor. McDonald's is, oh, and, and you get minimum, I was getting minimum wage too. So you like work for, bust your ass for five hours and you know this is the, this is the 70s so you know i've worked work and make you know 12 dollars and be like wow <laughs> yeah, it's the hardest job ever well you learned how to supersize so that's the important thing <laughs> eddie murphy is always such a pleasure the movie coming to america and this is scott till next time yeah, all right